I really must update my repertoire recipe record. No, Chief Duff, I would not like pre-boiled potatoes for lunch, thank you. <sighs> However, am I to expand my library? Here's an idea. What about a contest? Uh, contest? Papa's a lagging Kenny? if he breaks it again. May I be in such Kenny? a A contest? You mean something like this? Welcome everybody to Cory Arkin's Kitchen. This is your chance to test your skills and creativity against fellow TLCers by releasing your chef within. Since the world of cookery is so vast, we've divided this contest into two categories. The first is by the book. This is the category in which you recreate a food item, or a whole meal if you want, that is named in the Chronicles of Narnia. Make your dish as accurate to the book description as you possibly can. I expect to see mushrooms in the dwarves breakfast people. But no talking stag, please. That's like murder. If an ingredient is difficult or too expensive to attain, you can always use a substitute, such as substituting beef for lamb. So the Harfang Giant's Marsh Wiggle dish might be a great way to get rid of some annoying frogs in the vicinity. What? I'm just saying. Bonus points. By the book entries will be judged by accuracy and creativity. So dig out your books and dig into the menu. We ask that no Turkish delight be entered. It is just too common in the Narnian kitchen craft. Also, no bread and margarine. Everything else is fair game. The second category is called Out of the Hat. This allows you to put on your thinking cap and come up with something totally creative. These are more Narnia-inspired ideas than they are specific dishes, so these can range anywhere from beaver dam cookies to ginger snaps with the many faces of Ginger the Cat, or even a cake decorated like Jadis' castle. You name it. If you can think it, make it. Think out of the hat. Out of the hat entries will be judged according to creativity and intensity. So here's how you enter. Name your dish and provide a short description of it. Then take pictures. We want to know what it looks like. Cite any sources that you use and include links if they're found on the internet. We want to know how much of your work is based on research and how much of it is original. Seriously? <laughs> Tinny, we all know that recipe comes from your grandmother. My biscuits are completely original, thank you very much! Yes, well, anyway. Whoa. There's no limit on how many times you can enter, and there's no rule against getting help with your idea. You can send your entries to... Cut it out! Uh, uh, ladies, ladies. Okay. The bolt attack falls from above, and it never gets caught on a hook halfway. From April 5th to April 30th, send your entries by private message to Aginos, Swan White, or the Happy Islander. I look forward to seeing what you have to offer. In fact, I will feature the winner of each category in my book of incantations and personally send full-color, magically produced copies of their respective pages to the winners. The Cory Arkins Kitchen Contest commences! No, Chief Duffer, I will not be issuing prizes prior to the contest.